Welcome to UV Academy. I am Estelle. Imagine you work for a supermarket. You want to check the transaction in the video, and you also want to know which areas customer favor most. How to resolve these problems? In this episode, I will show you how to use pose function and heat map function of E2 NVR. First, we overlay pose information on the live view and the playback of E2 to UI. Enter system and find the pose. Click add to configure new pose information. Name it and select the protocol as default. Enter set connection. Select a transmission protocol and input a part available. The protocol and port must be the same with post machines. And then fill in the source IP address with post machines IP address. The destination, IP address, and port are used to forward the post data to the third-party device, which can be empty if not needed. And then select the camera. Post data will be added to this camera. After configuring the basic information of posts, we can also set the font color, size, and position of the OSD. The OSD can be displayed in the center, left, or right. There are four font sizes available and different font colors for your choice. And then set the duration of each post information on the page. The post configuration is finished and now let's use post machine to send data to the NVR. This is UMV's virtual post tool. Input NVR IP address and its port. The port should be the same with the one previously configured. And then select data transmission protocol. Set sending data interval. And then click start to send post data. Now the post machine is sending data. We can view it on the live view and the playback of E2GUI. This is live view interface. We can see that the post information is already here. Right click and select playback. This is a playback interface. Select post search and camera. Recordings with post data are listed on the left. And click to play the recording. You can also query post information in the live view and the playback of EasyStation software. This is EasyStation. Double click to open the view. For the first time login, we have to enable post function and click this icon. Now the post information is displayed. We can also retrieve post recordings in the playback. The operations are almost the same. and videos are listed on the right side. Our NVR also supports heat map function when used along with fisheye camera. The camera will detect whether there is motion in the area. The information will be reported to the NVR, and then we can view the heat map on it. First, 
you need to configure the heat map function through the camera web interface. Enter intelligent. Enable heat map function. Set the number of monitoring zones and modify the area. And then enter the common server settings and input the IP address of the NVR. The data will be transmitted to the NVR. We've completed the configuration on IPC, and now let's turn on the heat map function on NVR. Then we can view the result. Enter VCA and click VCA search, and turn on heat map function. We can select a camera, set report type and time. Different colors indicate different flow density, and the colors range from blue, green to yellow and red. You can see the red area. It means a lot of people have been here. With the heat map, you can monitor the flow of people in the area and know which areas are more attractive to customers. With e 2 only r you can not only check the transaction information, but also monitor the flow of people in the area. In summary, e 2 only r provides you a convenient and efficient management. Hope this video will be helpful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.